Okay, in this example, uh, we're given uh, the graph of a piecewise linear function, uh, and we want to write down the formula for uh, this function. So we know this is a piecewise uh, function because uh, the graph of the function consists of two distinct uh, pieces, uh, and both of those pieces are straight lines, so that's why it's called a piecewise linear function. So when we write down uh, the formula uh, for this um, piecewise linear function, uh, that formula also is going to consist of uh, two pieces. Uh, the formula that corresponds uh, to the uh, piece of the graph uh, on the left, uh, and then also a formula that corresponds to the piece uh, uh, of the graph on the right. And then we're going to have to uh, indicate the domains for uh, those two pieces uh, of the uh, function. Now, since both of these pieces are straight lines, then that means that both of these uh, formulas that we're going to uh, write down in our uh, piecewise function formula are going to be linear function uh, formulas. All right, so uh, let's start first uh, with the piece on the left here, uh, this line on the left, and let's see if we can write down a formula uh, for this line. So we can do that by um, using the point-slope formula uh, for uh, writing down the formula for a line. Remember the point-slope formula uh, looks like uh, this. So you have uh, y minus uh, the y-coordinate of some point on the line, and that's equal to the slope of uh, the line uh, times uh, x minus the x-coordinate of um, a point on the line. So uh, to use um, uh, the point-slope formula to write down uh, the formula for this uh, piece of the graph here on the left, uh, we're going to have to know uh, the slope. Uh, of this uh, uh, line, and then also a point on this line. But to calculate the slope, of course, uh, we need to know two points on the graph of the line. Uh, so, um, so we really need to know two points uh, on the graph of this uh, uh, line on the left. All right, so uh, let's see if we can locate a couple of points on the graph of this uh, line. And so let's see, I think uh, here's uh, one point uh, that's on the graph of this line. Uh, that's points, uh, the point with coordinates uh, minus 2 and 1. And then it appears that a second point uh, on the graph of this line is this point, and that's point with coordinates uh, minus 5 and 2. So let me write down those two uh, points, or the coordinates for those two points. So that was minus 5 and 2, and then minus 2 and 1. So we can use those two points to uh, compute both the slope of the line, and then we can use the coordinates of one of those points uh, in filling out uh, the point-slope uh, formula, either one of those two points that we like. So uh, let's start by calculating the slope. And so you recall how to calculate the slope of the line, a uh, little mnemonic device, memory device that we use to help us remember how to calculate the slope of a line is rise over run. And remember, the rise is the uh, difference between uh, the y-coordinates of two points on the line, and the run is the difference between the x-coordinates of those same two points on the line. So uh, using these two points uh, to calculate the rise and the run, uh, the rise is going to be uh, the difference in the y-coordinates. So we can write that as 1 uh, minus 2. And then uh, divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So I'm going to write that as minus 2 and then minus uh, a minus 5. And so when we simplify this, we get uh, negative 1 uh, in the numerator, and then a denominator is minus 2 uh, plus 5. And of course, uh, that's going to give us 3. So uh, altogether here, uh, we can see that the slope of this line uh, is uh, minus 1 third. And now we can use that in our uh, uh, point-slope formula to write down the formula for this line uh, using either one of these uh, pairs of coordinates as uh, the given point x1, y1. So let's use the first point. Uh, so we have y minus the y-coordinate of that point, which is 2, is equal to the slope, which is minus 1 third, times x uh, minus uh, the x-coordinate of the given point. So if we simplify that slightly, that's going to be y minus 2 is equal to uh, minus 1 third times x uh, plus uh, 5. And uh, so there is the uh, formula for um, this um, uh, piece of the line, uh, piece of the uh, piecewise graph uh, that's on the uh, left-hand side. 
All right, now let me go ahead and uh, simplify this uh, formula a little bit further. Um, so I'm going to um, solve this equation for y. Uh, so I'll do that by adding 2 to both sides of the equation. And then I'm also going to uh, multiply through by this um, uh, constant minus 1 third here, the slope minus 1 third. So I get y is equal to minus 1 third uh, times x and then minus 5 thirds minus 1 third times uh, positive 5 is minus 5 thirds and then uh, we add 2 to both sides of the equation and so I get y is equal to minus 1 third x uh, minus 5 thirds plus 2 and you can add these two constants together so we end up here with y is equal to uh, minus 1 third x and then uh, plus uh, 1 third <clears throat> so here's the formula then uh, 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 that goes into my uh, piecewise function formula or the first formula that goes into my piecewise function formula that's going to be minus one third x plus one third and we're going to use this piece of the formula uh, for x values uh, that are less than one because notice this uh, uh, piece of the graph on the left hand side uh, extends up from uh, minus infinity along the x-axis up to 1 uh, on the x-axis, but doesn't include uh, 1 on the x-axis. So uh, that means that in evaluating the function f using this formula, uh, we would use um, uh, this uh, 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 formula uh, when x is uh, less than 1. All right, so the second formula is going to apply uh, if x uh, for inputs that are greater than uh, or equal to 1 because this uh, uh, second piece of the graph notice its domain begins at 1 and then continues out to positive infinity alright so let's write down now the formula for uh, this piece and then those two formulas together uh, will give us our piecewise function formula and again it will consist of two formulas because this piecewise function uh, has two pieces uh, to it all right, so see, let's see if we can locate a couple of points on this line on the right-hand side. So one point there obviously appears to be uh, 1 and uh, minus 3. And then let's see, a second point looks like that's going to be, uh, you know, here's a second point that appears to be minus, uh, I'm sorry, 2 and uh, minus 2 on the y-axis. Uh, so now let's calculate the slope because we're going to use the point slope formula again to write down uh, the formula for this uh, uh, line. So our slope uh, we can calculate as the difference in the y coordinates uh, between uh, two points on the line. So that would be minus 2 minus a minus 3 uh, divided by the difference in uh, the x coordinates of those same two points. That's 2 minus 1. So we end up here with minus 2 plus 3 over 1, and then that just reduces to 1. So we have a very simple slope for uh, this uh, second line, uh, the line on the right-hand side. Uh, its slope is just 1. And now, again, using the point-slope formula with either of these two points, let's choose the second point this time just for fun. Uh, that tells us then that uh, the formula for this uh, line on the right-hand side is y uh, minus a minus 2. Uh, is equal to that slope, which is 1 times x uh, minus 2. And now if we simplify this and solve it for y, uh, I'm going to skip a, a couple of steps here. So we end up with y is equal to x uh, minus 2 um, and uh, minus 2 again. or uh, y is equal to x uh, minus 4. Ah, so there's our second formula in our piecewise function formula. Uh, there's the formula for the second piece of this uh, piecewise function. And again, we'll use this formula for inputs that are greater than or equal to 1, because that's what the graph shows us this second uh, 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 graph applies. Uh, for x values that are greater than or equal to uh, 1.